Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise King Jesus. I hope he's filling your cup full of peace and joy and fruits of the spirit. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ and everyone out there. I hope King Jesus is filling your cup full of peace and joy and fruits of the spirit. Amen. Um, I don't know about you all, but I've missed you guys. It's been a minute since I've been up on here and, um, I know that a lot of us are going through um, a difficult season and uh, the fire is on and, um, you know, some of us are struggling and uh, we just see the evil rising up and um, Jesus uh, just wanted me to bring a word to you guys. He knows a lot of us is weary, but I want to give you encouragement and hope in this, okay? And so he wanted me to share something with you that he revealed to me about a week or so ago, okay? And um, just know that you're not alone and you're in this together, brethren. Amen. We are many members, but one in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to start with a story. Uh, we've had like these really weird, unusual winds going on around here. I, I live in the state of Kentucky, and we don't have this uh, particular type of winds. And it, it's very new and, and unusual and uh, something new for us. And I don't know if it's been going on with you guys where you're at, but it's been going on here. So... Uh, I was sitting in my uh, recliner one day, and I was either in prayer or reading the word, and um, the wind, this wind just came out of nowhere, guys. And um, I was kind of worried for a second because it felt like it was going to, like, tear the foundation of my house right off and blow me away. And um, as I was kind of uh, flustered with that, the Lord started speaking to me, and he started showing me, and he said to me, just like that wind that comes out of nowhere uh, that you felt that was going to rip your house off the foundation, he said, I'm getting Getting ready to rip off all old foundations guys he's getting ready to uh, rip everything that needs to be ripped out all things old uh, old foundations the Lord said he is getting ready to shake and quake and rip out old foundations and uh when he gave me that word due to the the winds around my house um, it was I was like wow Lord that's really exciting and uh can you confirm it for me and he gave me Holy Spirit gave me this he gave me um John chapter 3 verse 8 and it says this the wind blows where it wishes and you hear the sound of it but do not know where it comes from and where it is going so is everyone who was born of the spirit. Amen. And so I'm like, I was even more intrigued. And I says, wow, God, uh, can you expound on that? And Holy Spirit led me to this. And he said, I'm getting ready to do a new thing. He says, and I'm ripping out old, old foundations and I'm bringing in the new. And he gave me this guys. He gave me this to encourage you all. Uh, Ezekiel, uh, chapter 37 verses nine through 14. And we're going to read it. Okay. Then he said to me, prophesy to the breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, the four winds, O breath, and breathe on these slain, that they come to life. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they came to life and stood on their feet, an exceedingly great army. So the Lord wanted me to, you to know, and me to know, that He's He is raising up an army, a great army right now, and He said He is getting ready to rip the old foundations out and bring in the new. He's getting ready to pour His Spirit out on all flesh, guys. He's getting ready to. Um, Breathe life, okay, into the slain. For us who 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 uh, feel broke, busted, and disgusted, those that have not been walking in the power of the Holy Spirit, just like in, in the book of Acts, okay? He said he's getting ready to rip that old foundation out and bring in a new, okay? And uh, the winds were um, a, a, a sign of this. And um, he's getting ready to do something new, guys, and I'm so excited. And um, those of us who feel slain, those of us that's walking without power, those of us that feel discouraged and downtrodden, for those of us that are in anxiety and worry uh, because we're seeing the evil rise up uh, in this earth, okay? God is getting ready to pour his spirit out on all flesh. So let's continue. Verse 11. Then he said to me, son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope has perished. We are completely cut off. How many people right now in the body of Christ feel that they're cut off, that they're feeling discouraged, that they're, uh, 
that it says here, our bones are dried up and our hope has perished. How many of us are out here hopeless because we see what's going on in the world today? Or we see the enemy attacking us through our finances or through our relationships, through our marriage, through our family, through our children, through our job, through 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 the church, just other Christians. And um, God's saying, I'm getting ready to rip out the old foundation. He says, I'm getting ready to rip out bones, bones that are dried up. And that are hopeless and feel that as if uh, they are perishing. And God's getting ready to pour spirit out on all flesh. I'm so excited, guys. So verse 12. Therefore prophesy to them, thus says the Lord God, behold, I will open your graves and call you to come up out of your graves, my people. And I will bring you into the land of Israel. See now, uh, as a body of Christ, as Gentiles, we're grafted in, right? We're grafted in as his children. So we're part, when we belong to King Jesus, we're in covenant with him. We belong with Israel. Amen. And he says, those who have been dead, whose bones have been dry, who we've been dead and not walking in the power of the Holy Spirit that we've been laying in our graves, God's about to resurrect us out of our grave. Okay. And he said, I'm going to bring you into the land of Israel. Then you will know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves and called you to come up out of your graves, my people, I will put my spirit within you and you will come to life. Oh guys, I don't know about you, but I am so excited. And I will place you on your own land. Then you will know that I the Lord have spoken and done it, declares the Lord. So we're in a season right now, guys, where you may feel like you're in the valley, you're struggling, the enemy's coming at you all which ways. Uh, you may feel like you're in the wilderness. We see persecution coming among us. But you know what that leads to, guys? That leads to um, obedience. That leads to faith rising up. That leads to repentance, guys. And it re- it leads to breakthrough and then it, uh, it leads to revival. And I don't know about you, but I'm so excited. And God gave me this word. He said, just as the winds you felt is these, these new winds, I'm doing a new thing. I'm going to come in and I'm going to blow my breath and I'm going to pour out, I'm going to pull out all dead foundations, foundations that are in the grave. I'm going to pull up, I'm going to pull those dead foundations out, those dry bones out, and I'm about to do a new thing. And so he encouraged me with this because he said so many of us are weary and so many of us are discouraged because the enemy is coming and he's attacking us personally in our lives. And and, and, And we can see the enemy and the dark cloud and the persecution coming over the earth right now. But when, what do we see in this though? Uh, when this happens, we see repentance come. We see breakthrough come. We see people being saved. We see revival coming. Okay. So it goes in the order of the valley, the wilderness, the persecution guys, then the repentance, then the breakthrough, and then the revival. See guys, God does his best work in darkness. Okay. So God works out all things for good. For those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. See, see, God doesn't, um, he is not the cause of evil, but he, but he can use it for our good. And he allows it with good purpose and good reason. And, and, and we see this, right? We see this when persecution comes and, 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 uh, um, we see that we're in the wilderness and we, and, and, and we're being attacked. It's all being worked out for our good guys. And, and, um, it allows us to get out of being comfortable and it puts us in an uncomfortable situation because when we're put in an uncomfortable situation, then faith rises up and obedience to the Lord comes. So don't be discouraged in this guys. This is a really good thing. And he wanted you to know this, to rise up. Okay. To to stand in faith. Don't be discouraged. He's working it all out for our good. And, um, you know, we see this with Daniel. So whenever we see God do his best is when the enemy bucks up. He allows the enemy to think the enemy won and he allows the enemy to run around like a fool doing what he's doing. Right. But what are we seeing that we see, we saw Daniel get out of, uh, 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 get out of his comfortable zone into an uncomfortable zone, which led to obedience. Okay. And it led to faith. Okay. And what do we see? We see God do his best. Okay. And we see the glory of God work in Daniel's life out of the lion's den. We see, 
this with Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego. God allowed uh, Nebuchadnezzar and the evil to, to work through him, right? For, for, for faith to build up, for faith to rise up. Even in the midst that he allowed and used that evil, right? We saw the glory of God in this. We saw the resurrection of God when he put Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego rose up in faith and obedience. He saved them in the fire, okay? We see this with Moses, okay? We see that, that he allowed the evil to take place because when we're in the valley, there's disobedience. When we're in the wilderness, there can be some disobedience and God is trying to get us out of that and he's trying to get us into where we are lining up with him and we are living a righteous and holy life. And so in his mercy, he allows the evil. He doesn't cause it, but he allows it for great purpose, for our good, you know. He says he has plans for you and me, and it's not to harm us, but prosper us. Hallelujah. Can I get an amen in this? We see this also with King David. He allowed King David to go this. King David's faith built up, his obedience built uh, built up when he allowed the enemy to work through Saul. Okay. When he allowed the enemy to buck up his evil, we saw the glory of God come through. We saw this with queen Esther. See, we saw the evil buck up that the enemy bucked up and tried to kill, uh, the, the, the Jews. And we see that. What do we see that we saw? We saw queen Esther get out of a comfortable situation and she was put into an uncomfortable situation. So faith can rise up. Obedience rises up. Then, uh, breakthrough comes revival comes and the glory of God falls down on the whole situation. Hallelujah. And he delivers his people. Guys, we're about to be delivered. Okay. But we have to stay strong. We have to stay in the Lord. We cannot throw the towel in. Okay. I don't care what you're struggling with. Take it to the Lord. Okay. Stay in repentance because when you stay in repentance, okay. And, and, and the Lord allows the devil to use his evil for, for God's good purposes in your life. Repentance is going to come not only in your life, but across the land, your breakthrough is going to come, right? So when, so when Ratchak, Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel, Moses, David, Esther, when they were put in an uncomfortable situation because of evil rising up, their obedience came, their faith came, and then we saw their breakthrough. And then we saw the glory of God. Hallelujah. I hope you guys are hearing this because God's getting ready to do a new thing. He's getting ready to rip out all old foundations, okay? And he's getting ready to uh, fill us up with these dead, dry bones that have been in the grave. And the Lord Jesus is saying no more. And seeing what we see in this, this is how good God is. Not only that, is he never leaves us nor forsakes us and he works with us, okay? So when we're, when we're in the valley and when we're in the wilderness, we got to keep our eyes on the Lord. We do not give up. Whatever you're struggling with, take it to the Lord. Surrender it to the Lord. I don't care if it's, it takes you once, or a thousand times, okay? God wants you to run to him and not away from him, okay? He, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus when we stay in repentance and we go to him. And when we do that, oh, faith rises up, obedience is there, faith rises up, breakthrough comes, revival comes, and deliverance comes, and the glory of God comes. I don't know about you, but we're here for such a time as this, guys, and I am so, so excited. And so we see in all these situations, what did God do? In Psalms 23, 5, it says this, guys. It says, Thou hast prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So when, when Daniel and Radshak, Meshach and Abednego and Esther and Moses and David, okay, when evil decided to buck up the enemy, his, he was rising up in evil, they got uncomfortable, okay? They were in a comfortable situation and God put them in an uncomfortable situation, but it built their faith muscles. It built their obedience unto the Lord. And then we saw, we saw what God did. We saw in all these stories, we see it in his word, guys. There's an order. God has an order and a reason to everything. We just have to trust in what he's doing. But what did he do for Esther? He prepared a table before her in the presence of her enemies. What did he do for Radshak, Meshach, and Abednego? He prepared a table, okay, before them in the presence of their enemy. What did he do for Moses and the Israelites? He prepared a table, okay, before them in the presence of their enemies. What did he do for, for King David? He prepared a table before King David in the presence of his enemies. Hallelujah. Can I get a hallelujah and an amen? Who praise God. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Listen to me. God does his best work in darkness. Rather, it's darkness in your own life or darkness in the world today. We just got to keep our eyes on him. Keep the faith. Don't give up, saints. We're all in this together, okay? We have what 
an order to things. And God works all things, all things out for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purposes. Amen. So the Lord wanted me to share that with you all. I thought it was amazing. Jesus bless you all. I love you. And hopefully we will speak soon. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Like, subscribe, share. If you need prayer, get a hold of me anytime. I will put my email down there. Until then, stay encouraged. Stay blessed. We are here for such a time as this. And it is so exciting. Keep your eyes focused on the Lord. Okay, and not what the enemy and the surroundings and circumstances are. Be vigilant, but you know what? Trust in the Lord because he is working all this out for the good of those who are called according to his purposes. Jesus bless you. I love you all and have a beautiful, blessed day in King Jesus. I love you. Bye now.